so hello everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here thank you so so much for clicking on today's video i am back today with an extremely highly requested video i was actually surprised how many of you guys over on instagram wanted to see this video and that is going to be a day in the life of a content creator i'm going to be bringing you guys along today kind of like a little vlogging style video to a shoot day a content day whatever you want to call it and just show you guys what goes on behind the scenes. I'm going to meet Liv and possibly Georgia as well for a shoot day today in London. So I just thought it would be the perfect time to bring you guys along. And I'm going to be showing you guys the whole process from like literally getting ready now, packing my bag, how I choose my outfits, shooting, how I get my pictures, like the locations, everything. And then coming home in the selection process and the editing as well. Literally the whole journey because I feel like this will be quite an informative video. I feel like if you're a fellow content creator or if you maybe want to get into content creating or if you do photography or anything like that hopefully this video will be super super helpful for you guys if you do enjoy this video it would mean the world to me if you could go and hit that subscribe button also follow my instagram where you'll be seeing all of these photos very very soon i'm sure so guys excuse the mess behind me we'll be showing you guys that in a second but i feel like you can probably tell from this lighting the first thing i'm going to be telling you guys is pick a day to shoot which has looks like it's going to be very sunny and it doesn't look rainy I know that's really hard in the UK because every single day is just like dull, gloomy, rainy. But today we've actually picked a really nice, crisp, kind of cold day with a lot of sunlight, which always makes the photos turn out 10 times better. You normally need to edit them a lot less. I feel like however good you look, if you're in bad lighting, the photos are just never going to turn out very well. Um, I do have some editing tips and tricks if you want to get around that, which I might show you guys at the end of the video. So I know obviously in the UK it's so hard to pick a day which is actually sunny in the winter. But I think it does really, really help. It means you have to edit the photo a lot less. You get a lot of natural light. Kind of brightens up your face as well. And it just makes the colours and everything look way better. I have just got ready. I've just air wrapped all of my hair. I'm just literally on day four greasy hair. We're going to move with it. I've got a lot of hats and stuff to shoot with. Um, so hopefully it's not going to show too much. Okay, I need to hurry up because I need to meet Liv in literally an hour. This is currently the mess that we have. So the first thing I will usually do on a shoot day is make sure that I'm shooting all the relevant ads. Week by week, I will kind of go through my little planner and see which ads are due, which ads have to be approved. Obviously, if the ad has like a posting date, you usually have to send it like two to three days before to get approval. So I have an addicted ad, which I'm shooting today. And I also have a far fetch ad as well in this kind of black outfit, which I'm actually going to go in as well. I normally pack quite light. I'm going actually to meet Liv on the train, so I'm going to have to carry this bag sometimes we go in the car so it's a lot easier i can just kind of take a lot of things and not worry too much but i've had to try and pack efficiently so my number one tip would probably be only pack one or two pairs of shoes like go in a pair of shoes and pack one pair because usually the shoes which are the heaviest and today i'm shooting my moon boots they are extremely heavy and bulky also i'd probably say pick one to two coats i feel like in winter it's kind of hard because you want to shoot a lot of different coats but my number one tip would be to kind of do two shoot days and maybe pick two coats for each one and then intersperse the photos rather than taking four or five different coats on one day it just never really works out very well so yeah i've got a lot of basics a lot of things i can mix and match like little skirts which i can match with little tops and stuff like that i feel like that's always the best way definitely need your props i have always got my trusty starbucks cup in my pictures you've probably seen a lot from my instagram but i feel like it's just always better in a photo to have a little prop um i feel like you either have to have a bag which i'm going to take myself i one today I feel like it always just looks a lot better with a little prop so maybe like a drinks cup a coffee croissant like a little bit of food whatever you want to do i just feel like it looks a bit more natural if you have something in your hand to hold rather than just standing there i feel like i prefer the natural look so yeah, this is currently the situation. I'm going to pack everything up in my bag. I think I'm going to take this holder bag, which is actually from Primark. Super, super old. Otherwise, I would link it for you guys. But really old, but really, really handy. So yeah, I'm going to quickly get ready, pack all of this stuff. And I'll probably catch up with you guys when I'm on the train. So we're in Notting Hill. I just thought I'd quickly Hello. update you because I'm with Liv and we're just getting her picture on this crossing. Um, I feel like crossings are really great. We always like gravitate towards crossings, don't we? And this looks really nice. The light is really nice as well in the building. It's looking... Dude, the camera, it looks so nice. But yeah, this is literally how we kind of pose. We both do it in a similar way. We just kind of go back and forth. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you want any more? Although I'm kind of sad I'm going to get one over. I know, well this is the problem. Is that we always pick these crossings. 
and they're always the most dangerous. Right, do you want to look through those? Okay, so me and Liv are currently in the car. She's getting something out the back and we are literally on the main road of Notting Hill Gate, like literally on the Notting Hill Gate road. I'm literally mid outfit change. Like this is like, there's someone, oh no, that's Liv. <laughs> I was gonna say there's a stranger at the door, but like, this is literally how I am. Like I'm mid getting changed and I've got no bra on. Like my normal tip for what you should do is wear like a little crop top. Cause then when you change your tops, you don't have to worry about like being fully naked. But now I am fully naked like fully but like, i don't know how i'm gonna do this i'm gonna have to use the trench as like a cover yeah i'm gonna have to use your trench but i said we're literally like on the like there is a shop there like a full-on clothes shop oh my god there's a woman there as well oh my god i didn't even see her i feel like you know when you go to see something you're younger and you like get changed in the car yes. or something Put the seat on. yeah and you put like cozy clothes <laughs> yeah on. yeah Oh my god, I can't. It's because it's got this like Paco Rabanne top on as well, which is like compression. What, like skin tight? Yeah, it's like a, it's a sports top, like a performance top. Oh my gosh. Which is not ideal, right? Look at me. <laughs> oh, my earring, my earring, my earring. This is the problem with my tiny head. These are like too big. No, but I would for my love head. to have a tiny head because I've got a massive head. I have a bloody massive head. You don't have a massive head. I do. Also, I just wore this scarf in the last picture and I didn't realise I actually brought it to bed with this one, so now I don't need to. <laughs> oh no. I know. I'm just gonna have to. Get you can it. intersperse the. Mm. Right, I don't think anyone's seen my boobs. So I they're really an, cute. I love an earmuff. Oh my god, they're Michael Kors ones. Yeah. They're so cute. I got them ages ago and then I found them and I was like, hey, they're actually quite cute. Who is your scarf from as well? Yes. This is from Misguided, this scarf. It's really cute. Um, all of these really are on the wrong foot. I also need to put my outfit in, in the tote bag. So that's Yeah, so what we're going to do next is go to a cafe, I think and then put our clothes in a tote bag for the next yeah. outfit because the problem is we always have to get changed in the car and then we have to like come back and forth whereas if we do it in the cafe we're like we're already there type of thing so we yeah. get like two done quickly so yeah that's another tip is like bring a tote bag because mm, like definitely. to separately to your big bag this looks really odd i've got camo trousers on so it's I'm not as weird as it looks i need to do my lipstick because I'm my so skin's shiny. getting oily. I know, I'm really shiny. I don't have so I'm vlogging on my phone because so I don't really want to bring my camera. Yeah. But we've come to this really cute little um, cafe. I don't know what it's called. Um, it's it's called Sally, Sally, Sally Clark. Clark. Um, and we've just got a little croissant and a latte. And we're going to try and get a picture here because we're struggling a little bit with well, the Well, I'm struggling. I feel like you are not struggling. No, I'm I am really a little struggling. bit as well. Cause still kind of uninspired. I feel like it's January. Because January content, there is like nothing to like yeah. signify what the season is like everyone's just like bored of like winter everyone just wants summer yeah it's just, like, like summer you've got like colors and, like, i know colors. i think it's really hard it's a really hard time to get content so we've got two pictures so far so we're not doing too badly I think we've got like two hours or an hour till sunset which should be fine yeah um and, and we've, we've got, got one our next outfit in here so we're gonna get changed in this little cafe afterwards get our picture here and then get changed and then get on and then we'll have three which is quite good oh that's just coming. oh my god it looks really cute so we've got two almond croissants and then two oh. oatmeal lattes. No, this is so oh. like... Parisian. I know. Yeah, it looks really Parisian. Not with this in the background, but from this angle. It's really, really cute. Yeah, we're just sat here. And it's quite nice. It's actually like a day out as well. I feel like yeah. we are so lucky that we get to do this because this is like work. But yeah, still a little bit stressful. But the light on with the light is getting really good. Let's get a picture. Okay, so we're on to third outfit change. Yeah. Liv looks really cute with her little earmuffs on. <laughs> We've just come to another section of Notting Hill, which is like this little area where there's like the toilets and stuff. We shot a lot of our Christmas content here, so we were like a bit bored of it, but I feel like we need something a little bit different. So I've just come here and we'll see what we find. Yeah, I know there's lots of cute cafes. Yeah. I got one picture here at Christmas, you guys probably will remember that.
right we're back in the car we're back down to the final look if, we, if it doesn't get too dark because it's yeah, literally it's looking like the sun setting but we're gonna try and get one more photo i also forgot to show you guys this hat, hat like hairband thing i bought in one of the shops because so i had this like apri ski outfit on i'll insert the pictures that i got and i was like do you know what i feel like it needs like a good hairband i saw this and i just bought it kind of like house of gucci vibes so yeah we're gonna go and get the final pick now but i just don't know if it's gonna be too dark we tried to get some reels and stuff as well but we have struggled with the locations i think it just like it is really hard to get pictures in january because there's at christmas it was so easy to come here because there was like so many nice like just christmas displays and like fairy lights and stuff and we could just get them outside there but everything's kind of plain and boring in january so yeah we're down to the final outfit this little beanie hat is the b one from primark just worn the other way this is kind of the label this copenhagen sweatshirt tell for bag and then i got my moon boots on as well i love that bag Thank you. That's one that we dropped on the floor. What? The, oh my god! Yeah. Hill. When it was, like it was raining, staying. but it's actually fine now. I know. I think Which that's a good great. thing with Louis. It doesn't really age. Yeah, it doesn't. It's really well. It ages really well. It's just the leather gets a bit dark. Orange. Yeah. I don't really mind that though. Right, we're gonna try and find the final location. Yeah. Wish us luck. So hello guys. I'm now home. I'm so tired. I'm literally exhausted. I got in and had some dinner because I had barely in all day. I literally just had that croissant. And I've just put my pyjamas on. I've got a hot water bottle because I got really cold. Um, the clip where I was literally in the car, like half naked, I feel like just gave me like a freeze or like a, what's it called? A chill. <laughs> gave me a chill. So yeah, I'm just going to sit now. I've just had my dinner. I just kind of relaxed for a bit when I come in from a shoot day. I've just unpacked all my bag. And I'm going to go through and show you guys my process of like how I select my images after a shoot day and like how I edit them as well. I don't really know how much like footage I got when we were out and about. I was trying to vlog quite a bit, but I think it's quite hard when you're trying to get literally like pictures, reels. Like we're both trying to get our pictures. Like it's quite hard to like vlog at the same time as well. But hopefully I got a few little clips to kind of give you guys a bit of behind the scenes action. And hopefully we found it quite interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do like a little screen recording, I think, of my editing process and put it to the side of like this so you can see it a little bit better so when i'm talking about it it makes a bit more sense i'm just so tired i ignore the bedraggled state of me because i'm so tired so i'm gonna vlog at the same time as doing this process and i'll pop the little screen record at the side of this so you guys can see properly what i'm doing i've taken a lot of photos today um i think i have about ninety thousand on my camera roll which is not ideal but yeah, I'm going to go through to the very first ones, which I took. And I also forgot to tell you, I think I showed you guys my new hairband. Um, I went with this like apres ski outfit, which I'm shooting for Farfetch. And I was like, oh my god, this needs kind of a bit more of a apres ski vibe. And in those little stalls in Notting Hill, there was like one of those fluffy hairbands. So I got one, it was like £10, which I thought was really good. And it just made the outfit. So I'm now looking at all of the photos which I've taken today. As you can see, there is a lot. Um, I think Liv demonstrated, obviously, how we do our just kind of natural movement. I feel like I don't... I'm kind of not into the stage photos right now. I feel like that was very 2021 vibes. Kind of like standing outside a shop front, very kind of set-based, matching colours, like all very uniform. Whereas now I'm a bit more about natural, off-guard, real-life images. I think they're just a little bit more just like authentic and Pinterest vibe, which I just personally prefer. So I tried to really move around. I was literally like walking across this like zebra crossing and some of them look quite cool. Um, so I always go through and just kind of favourite the ones which I quite like. I really like this one. So I favourited this one. Um, I kind of look for ones which usually aren't exactly in the middle. I think it actually looks a bit better when they're kind of rule of thirds if you want to get into the A-level photography. I think it actually looks better than say, I'll try and find one where I'm like more in the middle. Like this one, I feel like it looks a bit more like, apprehensive and it just looks too staged i feel like i prefer the ones where i'm a bit more moving like this one is quite good as well um this one as well so i've just gone through and favorited the ones which i really like and for a single post i usually try and do a lot of swipes i never know if single photos do better or carousel images honestly i think a little bit of a mix of the two do well when i look through some of my old pictures that were single images they've done really well but recently all my carousel images have done a lot better so if i want to do a carousel i usually try and mix up the frames so i'll favorite a few which are kind of far away maybe different angles like from the back 
things like that then i will go to this kind of vibe because this is obviously an ad for farfetch i have taken like a little close-up of the details so i just favor a few of those which i like oh god maybe not that one so yeah just a few which i think could work um and then i'll also go on to some kind of like different perspectives so i took some selfies as well in this outfit just to add a little bit of variation so i've just favorited a few of those and also like mid-length shots i think it's always a bit more interesting to kind of mix up your carousel like don't just have 10 images where it's all just really far away i think it's better to have a bit of a mix like maybe some sitting down some close up like a real mix i think just works a little bit better and it's a bit more interesting for the viewer to kind of look through so i always try and take a real mixture i've got some like fillery kind of picks some close-ups so yeah i'll go through at the end and delete any which i don't like so clearly let's find one which yeah so this one's very off guard you can see my eyes are shut and it just didn't work so obviously i will go through and delete those usually at the end i favorite all of the ones i want to use which is like my first point of call so then i go into my favorites section of my photos which is here and i kind of narrow it down to which ones i like the best sometimes i'll get a second opinion as well because i know it's sometimes quite hard if you're looking at it yourself like to think is this the best like could i do better so normally i get a second opinion either from my mum or from like a friend or i'll send it to someone so i really like so say this one so i'll go on add a new album new album and i usually call it something really random kind of based on the outfit so i'm gonna call it apri ski because i feel like it's a very apri ski vibe so add it to album sometimes when you favorite them as you go along as well you realize some are actually better than others so i quite like this one so these are the nine which i have gone with and i'm now going to show you guys how i edit the filters the colors and everything like that these right now i literally just straight from the camera and like i said it was a really good light day so sometimes they don't look this like perfect like the lighting colors and stuff don't look this great straight away it kind of takes a bit of editing but i'm going to show you guys how i do that now right so i'm now going to show you guys how i edit my photos i think i'm just going to do one well actually i normally do one anyway and then i sort of make a preset and then apply it to all the photos within that kind of carousel i open at color tone which is honestly my favorite editing app i think um i just feel like it is the best for kind of bringing out colors and like really transforming the image you can do loads of things like contrast exposure saturation color you can do hsl where you can maybe bring out a pink if you've got like a pink outfit on you can really make the pink pop there's just so many things that you can do with each of the different colors you can add grain if you want more of like a vintage vibe you can add a dust so yeah there's those different options you can do with this you can also add light leaks as well which is quite a good way if you want to get more of a kind of romanticized image i feel like that's more what i do on my nighttime pictures and my christmas content was very much kind of a luxe vibe with like the light filter and a little bit of a blur and like the dust and stuff like that whereas just like this everyday kind of street style content is a little bit more like less editing involved so as you can see these are all my filters which i currently have i literally named them the weirdest things based on what the picture's called so you can see i've got von which was a von dutch picture green sparkle fur telfar like i just call it things based on what i see and i've got loads of these so they were obviously for the specific photos at the time and then what i do each time is just kind of adapt it based on the new image so let's look at this one so piccadilly let's see how this looks it's really lightened up the blue and the green i quite like the way this looks although it's very saturated I kind of flick through a few of the filters and just see which one i think suits the photo the best until i land on one which i think looks good kind of like that one maybe the tree one yeah i quite like this one i feel like this is adding a little bit of contrast a little bit of brightness like i said it doesn't really need too much editing then I might just go on to saturation. So this one I made actually less saturated, but I'm going to bring this. We get a little bit more tanned, you can see. Maybe enhance the pink of these sunglasses a little bit more. And maybe just increase the warmth of the image. I feel like it's quite, well actually maybe not because it's more of a snowy vibe. I feel like I want the snowy vibe for this kind of apri ski whole thing so maybe we'll add a little bit of dust even to make it look a little bit like snow these are my some of my favorite dusts to use more towards the end then i usually decrease the opacity of these so they're a little bit more subtle so i actually quite like the way that looks um sometimes when i really over edit the picture i just never like it but let's maybe go on the color 
maybe it'll make it a little bit warmer you can also change the tint i don't want it too pink yeah, I quite like that. I think that looks quite good. Then maybe we'll bring the shadows up a little bit. Because obviously I'm wearing all black. I don't want it to look too shadowy. Yeah, it's really bright in the picture up now. You can really see. I do the before and after. I also always sharpen the photo a little bit. Like a very tiny bit. So it's plus 20% on here. Or 0.20%. So you can see it just crisps it up a little bit. Otherwise it can look a little bit blurry when it goes to Instagram. So yeah, that is literally all I really do um, for my photos currently. I might do a whole series and of these kind of videos if you guys are interested and just kind of talk you through how I do like my different filters and stuff. But yeah, for my photos at the moment, it's kind of more street style basic look. This is what I do. So then if I'm happy with that filter and I want to apply it to all the photos within this kind of group, I'll make the new preset, which you do by clicking save. And I'll say I call this Apre for Apre Ski which is now saved, I export the photo. So we'll save it. And then I will go onto another one of the pictures and just check that the filter still suits that picture as well. It usually always does because it's the same like lighting and everything and coloring, but sometimes it's a little bit different. So as you can see on the selfie, it's gone a little bit too orange, it's a little bit too saturated. So we'll go back onto my tools. I will decrease the temperature a little bit, I think. Or maybe increase the contrast a bit more because the front camera is a bit more soft. Pardon me. See, so yeah, I don't know if you guys can see now that difference. Much better now. I mean, it still is quite contrasted. Maybe we'll turn that down a little bit. Maybe we'll add a bit more pink or maybe a bit more purple. A bit more brightness. Maybe we'll turn brightness down a little bit. So yeah, I think that looks quite good. But like I said, you just kind of have to play around with it. The basics are there when I add it from the filter, obviously. But then you have to kind of go through and just subtly make a few changes sometimes. So yeah, that is literally all I do. And then I will save all of the new pictures, make another new folder, decide the order and post it to Instagram. I'm not going to post it now because this is actually an ad, like I said. Um, but I'll be posting it probably next week. Or you might have already, see already even seen it go live. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to sign off this video here. Um, it's probably been quite a long video in the end, but I hope you guys have found it really enjoyable and really informative as well. Hopefully it's given you some tips and tricks if you're in the content world or if you want to get into the content world, if you want to start banking content like this. Um, so today we managed to shoot four photos, but then in each outfit, I think we've got them in two locations, which could potentially be more photos as well. So probably out of the whole deck, got about six or seven photos I could use. And I also got two reels. And another tip as well is that I like to do is if you want to keep the reel on the feed, um, if you've got a variation of photos that maybe one sitting down, one standing up, you could always do one as a post and then one as a reel cover a little while after. I think it's always good to kind of mix up the positions on your feed. So yeah, maybe take two different positions in one outfit, then decide which one you want to post and then use the other one that still as a reel cover. Or if you just run out of content, then it means you've always got what, something banked. And you're never going to be short on content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, follow me on Instagram where you'll see all of these photos, I'm sure. I will leave mine and Liv's Instagram in the description box as well if you want to follow us over on there. And I'll see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.